This 31 hectare part of the southern parklands is loved for many reasons. The Ghana name for this park, Tuthanga, means grass place. Its English name refers to its wide, grand carriageway of historic elm trees planted in the late 1870s. As the seasons change, so this majestic carriageway of 90 English elms changes the character of this park throughout the year. Alongside the elm carriageway, the South Parklands Creek is an artificial channel built in the early 1900s to drain boggy land in winter. 100 years later, in 2018, this creek was rehabilitated to improve safety and biodiversity along with new pathways. Park 17 is well used by various sports and community groups, including thousands of touch football players. Beautiful trees, big wide open spaces, um, I love it. Carriageway Park is also the home of the SA Dog Obedience Club, with training several times each week. There's soccer and cricket here too, with organised school sport as well as informal social games. The South Terrace Croquet Club has been in this neatly hedged location near Beaumont Road since 1911. A few hundred metres to the west, the larger SA Croquet Association is set up just off Hutt Road. It also takes parklands for club rooms and a car park. Nearby, these tennis courts are licensed to Christian Brothers College, but are available for public use when the school's not using them. Like other parts of the parklands, this park was cleared of most native vegetation soon after European settlement and fenced for grazing cattle. However, revegetation started as early as the 1870s and over many decades has turned much of the park into a forest. Apart from the carriageway itself, there are many large river red gums in this park, along with desert ash trees that line this dirt track, and a collection of sugar gums off Glen Osmond Road, some of them spotlit at night. More recently, this park's attracted bush care volunteers who've reintroduced the type of plants that grew here before Adelaide's founding. There's built heritage here too. Near East Terrace, a large earth mound marks the site of a huge water tank built in 1881 that's two-thirds embedded in the ground. It's still there, filled and covered with earth, since it's not needed these days for water supply. Every day this park is used by hundreds of runners, cyclists and pedestrians on the Parklands Trail. Park 17 is also a favourite spot for dogs of all sizes and their owners.